friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are going to set up our budget for the next month, January. I typically have only been doing this like separate um, checking account that we have, mostly for like savings, um, because I use every dollar for our main budget. So this is my Erin Condren a5 agenda this is the end of january and this is where i keep this stuff i just make myself a page for um uh what's it called menu planning whoo could not think of the word and i keep a freezer inventory and a pantry inventory and then this is where i start this budget and i just keep it right at the back here um i don't know that i'm gonna choose this you know, coming up in June, I just really miss my coiled planner that I could like bend over, you know, inside out and keep open all the time. But I do love being able to add pages. So I'm kind of torn with that, but um, I do love all the Erin Condren products for sure. So I like to keep this sinking funds page right here. Um, let's see because this is basically like the budgeting page. This is how I keep track of all of the different savings categories that we have. Um, and basically, we do this to save up for stuff that we only pay for, like not every month. Um, so like this is where we have car savings. Um, some of these little extras I will use you can't see that sorry so these little extras I will use coming up in the monthly spread and I will also use this little thing to put a little tab right here so that I can find the page again because it is hard in amongst all of the pages to do that so I just kind of make myself a little tab like that Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Um, let's see. Then I usually like to put this on the bottom. Why don't we do this one at the bottom? It just finishes the page off for me. I like it that way. So we'll do this. And then while I'm here, I might as well draw my lines real quick just so that it is done. Now for January, we are doing a no spend month. So if you haven't seen my previous video explaining everything, we're doing a no spend month. So I don't anticipate this being very involved this month to be able to, um, it's just not gonna be used very much because we're not gonna be spending very much money. Um, there won't be very many transactions and such, but that is okay. Let's see. Um, I guess we'll go like this. There we go. But even if you're not spending a lot of money, you should still keep track of it just to keep yourself accountable and on track so that you know what's going on. That's going to bug me if it's crooked like that. This I do make stickers with reusable sticker paper, but you can like damage it quite easily by pulling it up and putting it back down. So try to only ever do it once. See, I crinkled that sticker up, but that's okay. So this page is our transaction log. And then I generally use this page for the same thing because I usually have to use two sheets for all of the transactions. Again, like I said, this month, I don't know that I will have to do that. 
Okay. Um, I think I'm just, it's gonna be super matchy matchy, but that's okay. It will be fine. So I don't make another one of these for over here since I can see it being on the same page, but what I will do is I will draw the lines in. Um, you know, the same width on the other side so that I can track it the same. one for the transaction and then kind of split the rest of this like this okay last one is the weekly checkup page and this page is super helpful because if you are not checking in on your budget regularly, you will have no idea what's going on. So I bet I check up, I try to do it every week on Friday. Um, that is the day that I try to do this. But I would say 90% of the time I at least check in three weeks out of the month. So very helpful to do that because otherwise, I mean, I guess you could do it at the end, but it would take, in my opinion, it would take a long time. So I think I usually need one, two, three, four, five spaces at least. usually extra at the bottom which is fine one two three four five and here is where I will just track like like I guess you would call them spending categories because most of the time this money just sits in this account because it is truly a savings account. Um, so unless, you know, it's time to, you know, pay a bill with it or um, like Christmas time, we have spent the Christmas budget. So unless it's time to spend one of those budgets, it's really not, you know, getting touched. Okay, draw these lines in. So there is that. Now, since I have these extra little stickers right here, I will probably, I'm just gonna go ahead and put one, make myself another little tab and I will move it over a little bit like this. So that I can, so now like when it's closed, I can just go to this tab right here and it will pull me open, you know, to the, actually those were last month's. Actually, I should take those off so that I can pull it open to the right tab. But then it'll get me right to the dinners. This one will get me right to my budget. Okay, we need to put in our budget categories here. Let me zoom you in so you can see what is happening. Okay. So I have my old budget from December and you do have to close out, you do have to have an end balance to be able to do the start balance. 
So I just wouldn't do this until you have closed out your previous month's budget. Okay, so for our estimated taxes, this is just so we can send in taxes. My end balance is this. That's what my start balance will be here for the next month. We have new car savings, which is sadly, sadly depleted. We are always saving for Christmas. Now, we do have a couple of negative categories, which I am not worried about. Sort of a long story, but in order to get our interest on this particular account, we have to have so many debits a month in order to be eligible for that um, bonus and so we had used our debit out of this checking account and um, then I will transfer money from our other checking account to go into this one so these negatives will be taken care of I just wanted to um, make sure and take it out of a Line, you know, a budget to make sure that we accounted for it. So half of our emergency money is in this account, so this just always sits here. We have a car shield on my van, which is always starts out at zero. Then when I get paid um, my Plexus paycheck that I fund, and I fund a lot of these with my Plexus paycheck, which happens in the middle of the month. So lots of times there's a lot of zeros starting out at the beginning of the month because it's kind of like a 15th to 15th budget type of system. Disney Plus is like a once a year thing and we save up for it each month, which that's probably getting ready to go through. I think that's an automatic one. Getting our septic pump only happens once every three years, so I figured, um, and it is, you know, it's kind of like, it's close to like $400 or something, so large enough that we just don't want to come up with that money, but it seems silly to save $11 a month, but that's how you do it if you want to have, you know, $400 next time you need to have your septic pumped. Um, we keep some kids money in here. This is money that Jason's mom gave to the kids before she passed away to be used for their education or launching them into adulthood. So we just keep it in here for now. This little Plexus fund, this is what we use to buy our Plexus supplements with. And so we've already done that for the month, so there's not very much left in there. Etsy, this is where I keep what I make off of Etsy and also how I um, buy more sticker paper and ink and that sort of thing. Same thing with this miscellaneous category that will be taken care of when I transfer the money from our other checking account, so I'm not worried about it. Cash, this is just sort of, I had named it cash because I could, I knew, I always knew that I could take, if I needed cash, I could take it out of this budget. Now it has kind of become my own personal spending money, I guess is technically, technically what that should be called, but I'm just leaving it as cash because that's how I know it. I save $5 every month to pay for my Thrive Market membership, which is coming up soon. We keep, we just call it a giving fund, but we just keep some money in this fund. Um, like if we want to sponsor a family for Christmas or if the church has something specific going on that um, we would like to donate to, then we take it out of this fund right here. When I get paid from Plexus, I always put my tithe money in here. And so I've already done that this month, so that is at zero. 
I do keep a separate Plexus travel account, which really needs to be funded. Um, so that when I travel to events and register for convention and stuff, it comes out of this account. We started a sports account just for our kids for like sports equipment and stuff because at the rate that they're growing, they're no longer like staying in their shoes for very long and stuff. So seasonal is kind of just like springtime hits and then it seems like we spend a ton of money um, outside, you know, like for landscaping and just all that kind of stuff. So we're trying to fund that a little bit more frequently so that when springtime hits, we're not surprised. Driver's Ed, I did just pay for our oldest daughter's Driver's Ed. So that's back down to zero. Um, she will need to take segment two though, but that's not very expensive, but we will fund this when it's time. Our second daughter started orthodontics, which is $220 a month. And that has already come out for the month, so there's nothing in there. And then we do have a birthday fund um, to try to just save up a little bit of money for birthdays. Um, so we're not surprised by those either. So that is all of the funds that we have in this particular checking account. That's how I set it up. Then I will go through, once I know what my Plexus paycheck is going to be, I will go through and I will fund all of these different, I will just decide how much we're going to put in each one. And then that will take us through the month of January. I would love for you to follow along with us as we do a no spend January. If all goes according to plan, I plan on updating every week on YouTube how we are doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.